Great, we are now at the point where here's our cuff, here is the ankle, okay, and we've gotten it as long as it says in the pattern for the size that you're doing, okay? And now you can see here I've started the heel flap. So over here, I had my cuff and I showed you how to change colors to this guy and we actually did one row of knits in this color first so that we could avoid having the pearl bump show and I did the same thing here. So this is the heel flap. Let me just flip this over for you. So you can see we had the cuff going, okay? So you've got half of your stitches on one part of your um, cable um, needle and then you've got the others over here. So basically what you do is these, you can see we've just set aside. So then you start to work on this other side and you just work back and forth so that you make this flap on just the one side. So it's pretty easy. So I've gone ahead and skipped to this step, okay? So what I did here when I was joining the two is I, um, the first row, because I changed colors, I did a purely knit row, and then I turned it over and I followed the eye of partridge pattern on the back side, okay? So that's what the eye of partridge looks like. It's very simple to execute. I'll show you in a moment how to do it, but you just work back and forth like this until you have 32 rows worth, okay? And it gives it a really cool looking texture. I really like it. Now, my other sock, I did just a plain um, stockinette heel on, okay? It makes it maybe a little bit smoother on the heel, um, but you can see it's, it's the same exact thing, so I don't need to demonstrate that. Basically, all you do is you'll do your first knit row and then you purl on the back side. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Now, you can see I've already attached this heel flap, but if I try to open it up there, that's what the heel flap looks like on the other sock, okay? So you have a choice. You can either do just the plain stockinette like this one here, or you can do the eye of partridge, which gives it a little bit uh, more fun. Okay, so right here, and I don't remember what row I'm on, so I'm gonna try to help you see. We know that for the eye of partridge, the first thing you do is you slip the first stitch, right? This is gonna give us a selvage edge. See, we have a nice edge. We're gonna pick up stitches on here later, so this will be easy to tell where we need to pick them up. So we're gonna slip the first one, now, I don't remember if I need to knit one or slip one or what, so I'm going to pull down on these stitches, okay? Now, see how some of these stitches are a little bit longer than others. So this one right here is longer than its neighbors, and this one's longer here. See that? We slipped those in the previous row, so that means we need to knit them. So I'm going to start with this one right here. This one here is long, so that means I need to knit this one. So that means I need to slip this one and knit this one and slip this one. Okay, so we've slipped the first one, great. Now I'm gonna slip the second one, and now I'm going to knit. And then slip, and then knit, and then slip, and then knit and then slip. So you do this all the way across and you'll notice that I am not twisting the stitch, okay? I'm not doing a slip one knit wise like this, I'm just slipping it purl wise, okay? Now, the importance of that is when you twist your stitch, it makes your row just a little bit shorter and we don't wanna do that because it'll make your, your heel flap just a little bit shorter. Um, so we just want to slip one and knit one. So FYI, when they tell you to slip one, um, in order to try to decide if it is purl wise or knit wise, um, you, slipping one means that you just pass it from one needle right to the other. So if it doesn't say, you move it over as it is without changing it, okay? So this is just a slip to move over like this. If it was, um, if they wanted you to change the stitch, they would tell you what to do. Okay, so we're getting all the way across here. We're almost to the end. And then the last one we have to knit, so I'm gonna knit this one and I have one left. So you'll notice in the pattern it says that you'll knit the two on the end just like that. Okay, now I have one more purl row to go. Um, before I have my 32 rows, I'm at 31 currently. So I'm gonna turn around and do this and then I'm gonna show you how to pick up the stitches so that we can attach the heel flap to the rest of the sock. 